and drag this up to about here. Again, come back over here. I'm just going to press S to scale. Let's scale out slightly as his head gets a little bit bigger. Again, I'm just going to zoom in and I'm going to pull these points apart just so they don't fall in on each other. Okay. Again, I'm going to press and hold shift and reselect all of these edges or verti vertices. I'm going to press E to extrude and drag this out a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to start rotating. So I'm just going to press R to rotate so I can start coming back around ever so slightly. Okay. And press E to extrude again. And again, I'm going to press R to rotate. I'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button just to rotate around. Keep an eye on these. I'm just going to grab individual vertices and just drag them apart. And maybe just try and line them up in on the x-axis just closer together that's all I just drag some of these to make sure they they don't come into a single point okay again I'm going to press and hold shift and select all these points and I'm just going to press tree for side view here and again I'm in orthographic press 5 to toggle between auto and perspective Okay, now I'm going to press E to extrude again. And again, try and keep in line with the profile of his head. And just press R to rotate. Ever so slightly. And left click when I'm happy to lock that in position. I just drag this down slightly. Okay. I'm going to press E to extrude again to about here left click lock that in position I'm just going to press R and rotate okay now we can again pick individual vertices and drag them where we need them to be just going to press and hold shift and select this entire row okay not looking too bad now at the moment I'm just going to press 3 Go into side view. Okay. I want a certain amount of edges so we can fill in the side of this head. So currently I've extruded one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I need a few more, so eight. I'm gonna press E to extrude and just drag left click to lock that in. I'm gonna press R to rotate. Okay, to about here left click lock that in position again we can come back later and drag points to form this mesh properly I'm going to press E to extrude again and just drag this down left click to lock that in okay I could maybe press S just to scale that in slightly He's okay left click to lock that in position I'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button to make sure everything is still in order here Okay, I could press S Z zero, and that will line up my edges a little bit better. Okay, I'm going to press three. I'm going to press E to extrude again, and again try and keep in profile with the back of the head as it's coming around here. Okay, so I want to form. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'm going to extrude two more times down towards the back. So E to extrude and left click when I'm happy. And I'm going to come over here and just press S and scale this in slightly. Left click to lock that in and extrude one more time. Down to here. And left click to lock that in position. Okay. And I think 
I'm just going to press Control S and save that. And that's going to be it for this tutorial. I'll continue modeling the rest of the head in the next one. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Goodbye. Hello and welcome back to the next tutorial in this series. I'm going to continue modeling where we left off the last time. So I'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button just to rotate. Okay, we need to fill in this area here. I'm going to press 3 for a side view. I'm just going to press 1 over here and make sure I'm in front. Just and I'm going to press Z and left select wireframe just so I can keep an eye on things there. Okay, first off, I'm going to left select these edges here, or these vertices, but I'm going to select four edges, and I'm going to press E to extrude. Okay, and I want to drag them out here in the X slightly. All right, I'm going to select this vertex here, left, press and hold shift, and left select this one and press alt m to merge and i'm just going to left select at last okay and that will bring that down to there if you want you can hide the subdivision surface if you if it, you think it's easier to find the points it'll completely throw your mesh out of whack but i'm i'm happy to use to use the subdivision surface okay i'm going to left select this vertex and i'm going to come up along here and left select it up to here I'm actually going to just select this one and drag drag this one back maybe okay I'm going to reselect that press and hold shift and select those vertices because I want to extrude these across and join this side over here so I'm going to press E to extrude okay and I'm just gonna left click I'm just gonna press R just to rotate those slightly let me just grab this and drag it back okay okay what I'm gonna do is fill select the top four vertices and press F to fill that Okay, I'm going to do exactly the same thing over here. I'm going to left select these four and press F to fill. I'm going to select this side here. And I'm going to press E to extrude. Okay, and just drag it to here somewhere. And what I'm going to do is merge these so I'm just going to left select this one first and left select this one. Press Alt M for merge and left select at last. Again, I'm going to select the next one here. Press and hold Shift and left select this one. Press Control, sorry, Alt M and for merge and left select at last. I'm going to do exactly the same thing here. I might just pull this up slightly. I'm going to press and hold shift and select this one and press alt m for merge and at last and it's important you do these in order so I'm going to left select this one press and hold shift press alt m and left select merge at last okay i'm just going to drag this down slightly i'm going to left select this one i'm going to press and hold shift and select this vertex press alt m for merge and left select at last I'm just going to drag this down okay I'm going to select this vertex press and hold shift and select this one press alt m and left select at last and again I'm going to select the last one press and hold shift and select this one press alt m and choose at last okay now as you can see, he needs some work. He's very, very much in need of some point pulling. Okay, if you're new to Blender and you haven't used proportional editing before, 
if you come down here just press and hold the middle mouse button just to drag that across here is proportional editing you can switch it on by left clicking here and left click enable the shortcut key is zero or O, I should say so you can turn it on and off so for example with this vertex selected if I press G and in normally you can just drag if you say X direction you can drag it in the X I'm just gonna right click to cancel if I press O this turns on proportional editing if I press G my area area of influence appears and I can control that by rolling the middle mouse button okay so I can come down and the area area of influence can be very small like this I can roll it up large and the area of influence becomes larger and larger and that just enables me to pull points that has a greater or lesser of influence on the vertice vertices and the mesh around it okay so I'm just going to right click to cancel so if you're not used to proportional editing it takes a little bit of getting used to but it's it is very handy and I would recommend using it to drag the mesh into the into the shape that you want okay so I'm just gonna press gonna press one on the keypad I'm going to press G and I'm just going to increase the area of influence maybe a small bit and keep in mind you want to keep to the profile of the background picture as best as possible so I'm just gonna press G here and maybe drag that in slightly drag it down and again I'm just picking random spots and I'm gonna press G and that's what I'm gonna do for the next while and try and get this guy to look a little bit more like his picture he mightn't look exactly like it now or in the future but I'm gonna try and get him to look a little bit better than he does okay so that's going to be it for this tutorial thanks for watching I'll see you next time goodbye hello and welcome back to the next tutorial in this series okay I've spent some time pulling points on his head I'm just gonna press Z and left select solid shading and I think I'm happy to continue he's not looking too bad and he is just going to be a cartoon character so if I want to make any changes I will as he starts taking a bit more form so I'm going to start extruding down from his the base of his head down his neck and down his body and extrude out his arms so I'm going to press 3 for side view and I'm in orthographic you can toggle between auto and perspective by pressing 5 on the keypad okay I'm gonna press Z and left select wireframe I'm gonna press and hold alt and left select one of the vertex vertices here and select the entire edge I'm gonna press E to extrude and just extrude down and left click to lock that in okay I want to scale this in so I'm just gonna press S to scale and drag it in okay to about here maybe drag it back slightly just S to scale again and just increase it a little bit okay I'm just gonna press R to rotate and just drag them back down I'm gonna press S to scale Z for the Z axis and just try and flatten it out a little bit okay I'm just gonna come over here to front view and again I'm in front orthographic press 1 for front view I'm going to press S to scale, X for the X axis, and just drag this in in the X just to narrow up his neck a small bit. Okay, I'm going to come back to side view here and press E to extrude and just drag this down and left click to lock that in. I'm just going to press S and scale it up, left click to lock it in position. I'm going to come back over here and press S to scale X for the X axis and just slightly drag this out, left click. To lock that in. Okay, I'm just gonna press and hold a minute.